Hey guys, so, um, yes, I'm filming outside, um, and anyways, um, if, I know that two of you don't have kicks, I know that Sophie and, um, Mackenzie don't have kicks, so, um, if you guys didn't know, we're not doing the videos together, because, um, people didn't show a lot of interest in it, and that's what I wanted them to do, was show a lot of interest in it and be like, yeah, I'm so excited to do the video, and a lot of people weren't. Um, try to go this way. Um, but anyways, uh, you guys were assigned, um, on your days, the what you're supposed to talk about um for Mackenzie and Sophie just contact me on YouTube somehow um and I'll give you guys your um your for Sophie I know that I gave it to uh I think I told Kat um but for Mackenzie just message me on YouTube or something, or, um, so then I can give you yours. Um, but my, me and Kat's, um, day is, um, to talk about, it's reasons why kids get bullied, and I have, like, a list and everything, um, to talk about, and I had, um, Kim help me out, and, um, I also think I had Mel help me out. So, shout out to you guys for helping me um, figure it out, um, what we were supposed to do. I mean, what the themes were going to be. Um, but, me and cats is um, eating disorders. And I was going to say wait, but whenever I showed it to Kim, Kim said, well, that goes along with eating disorders. So, yeah. Um, so, pretty much... Um, if you're getting bullied, anyways, for anything, you shouldn't be. Um, but with eating disorders, I know that being bullied can cause eating disorders. Um, and I've never really experienced one. Like, I didn't, I've never had bulimia because I'm afraid of throwing up, kind of. Um, and I don't like to. <laughs> So that's out of the question and starving myself um, for like anorexia, I couldn't do that. Um, you know, even if, you know, I, I, I wouldn't be able to. Um, I know there's probably a, more um, eating disorders around that I just don't know about. Um, I don't know if there's an eating disorder that, like, whenever you eat, I mean, whenever you get bullied, you, like, just drown your te drown your emotions in eating. Because if that was a disorder, then I had it. And I still do. <laughs> um, so if that is a disorder, then I have one. Um, you know, if, if you eat constantly because of, um, you know stress and bullying and all that jazz um what the hell is on my leg um but and a lot of i mean people have to watch what they say because even if they say something like oh i'm just gonna give a random person's name oh becky you look so skinny today that can you know think well, Becky could think, oh, wow, I guess I'm way too skinny. Or someone said, oh, you look fat today. That could lead to a disorder. Anything, I mean, eating disorder, anything could lead to an eating disorder. A comment, just like a little comment like that, um, which you shouldn't say anyways. Um, and bullying, definitely. That's, a, that's one huge thing that... I think most disorders are, you know, caused, or that 
most eating disorders are caused by bullying. That's what I think so. And um, that's pretty much what, I mean, almost everybody that I've talked to that had an eating disorder or something like that <laughs> definitely um, has gotten bullied. And if you are getting bullied whenever you have an eating bug, whenever you have an eating disorder, get out of here. Whenever you have an eating disorder, it just gets worse. And that's what like pisses me off that people are like, ha ha ha, that girl has anorexia. Look how skinny she is. You could see her bones. And that's just disgusting. Why would you even say that? Like, if. If I saw a girl that had anorexia or anything like that, I'd walk up to her and, you know, ask her, you know, to hang out or whatever and try to be her friend and try to help her. And, um, you know, even if I, like, if I didn't even know her, even say that she was really mean to me, like she bullied me before, I'd even try because, you know, just seeing that in someone, you know, someone having that type of disorder, you know that they're going through something in their life. It could be at home. It could be, um, you know, like a tragedy. You know, um, it could be anything that that disorder is about or not about, but, you know, mostly cause. What am I talking about? The <laughs> you guys get what I'm saying, hopefully. Um, but, um... I mean, most eating disorders are caused by bullying. Um, that's my opinion on it. Um, but you should never get bullied for anything. And nothing. I mean, obviously there's nothing that you should... Can you get away from me? There is nothing that you should get bullied for. There is nothing that you should get bullied for. Um... Hi, Rudy. There's nothing that you should get bullied for um, at all, whatsoever. But, like I'm saying, um, I mean, if somebody, like I said, if someone bullies someone for having an eating disorder, then that eating disorder is going to get worse. And, you know, you never know. I mean, I don't really know that much about eating disorders, like, um, I'm not like an expert on them, <laughs> uh, but I've had friends that had, have had eating disorders, and, um, I've tried to help them, and, um, probably one of them, or a couple of them are watching this, and there goes a the fire truck. <sighs> Um, but, yeah, I've, they're, they might be watching this, um, so if you are going through an eating disorder or anything, stay strong. And also another thing, um, if you are getting bullied because, my hair looks really bad back there, if you're getting bullied because I got, well, here's an example, I got bullied because of my weight, since I'm heavy. Um, girls would be like, oh, um, at least I'm not 200 and some pounds. Um, what if I'm happy for being this? Like, you know, and that also, if, you know, someone says something like that because of your weight, like my weight, for example, that, why'd I go that? But <laughs> that can trigger an eating disorder or that can trigger depression, that can trigger anything. Um, bullying about weight and you're just gonna make it worse for that person you're gonna make their life worse and just like the girls did for me and um, I put this for my week because I know most I well I can't say for every girl here on the channel that they that I know most about it but because I'm heavy I got bullied a lot about my weight um, it was the major thing about me getting bullied. You know, like I said in my bullying stories, um, <laughs> there wasn't one day whenever people would make jokes about me and about my weight. Um, you know, 
it's it's not fun at all and that could lead to you know depression like I have I mean since I've been bullied all my life and I have the what's wrong with my bangs that I have depression now um, it's been almost you know a lot of whenever I was in public school the most thing that people would say to me was about my weight and that makes you self-conscious that makes you um, upset and everything else and you know everybody's beautiful in their own way no matter what size height <laughs> um, people people get bullied because of height too which sucks you know like oh you're short oh, oh. well I don't give a shit if I'm short that's the way I was born with it's not like I drank something that you know puts me to be short or I can't like drink something that makes me taller. If I could, I would make me taller. But anyways, I gotta go. So um, Mackenzie, just try to get a hold of me, and also Sophie, try to get a hold of me for your week's theme. Or you can wait until that other person posts theirs. And yeah, it's better if you guys have a kick. So if you guys can, please get a kick because that is the most important thing so yeah all right um bye guys